Myanmar, Liberia, USA. Otherwise, there's no inches. No, 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 there's no inches. No inches DIY. Hello, and welcome to day four of No Inches DIY container project day four. Today I am going to, I'm making the fiddly stuff. I'm doing so on my ping pong table slash workbench. So I am going to just um, drill some holes in this 25 25 angle and hopefully that'll make a good enough hinge. So this will be on my gate. This bit here will be welded onto the container. So what I'll do is I'll just put the gate in situ, gap it properly, clamp it in there, and then I'll clamp these on and then just weld them on. It should be ideal. All right, so that's one hinge. All right, so I've got to take a little bit of this corner off here where it swings but thankfully not too much. Because of this uh, three mil gap between this hinge and the frame, it should be just the right amount. So I'm just gonna get on, make the next hinge. This one's for the top, so it's gonna be pretty simple position. It's just gonna have, this will be on the top of the gate and this piece will be on top of the container. So I just need to, this actually, as long as that's in the middle, because this bit can be welded anywhere onto the roof of the container. So it's not really critical where that goes. This one is more critical. I'll just clamp them on so they don't spin around in my hands. There's our two hinges. That's gonna butt weld onto the frame. This is gonna lap the top. And that'll be fine. So I've gotta just work out the cuts. All right, what I've got now is I've got the gate up on the bench. I'm just gonna go around and do all, redo all the corners. One corner here is particularly embarrassing. I'm gonna take that off, start again. When I've got something that's 2.4 by 1.2, and this bench, I can just clamp it to the bench and then everything's square. So I'm glad to have this bench for a job like this, especially when it's got so hot today already. It's only 10 o'clock and it's probably about 35 degrees. So I've just put the gate in place made sure it's gapped the right way all around and then i've just clamped that bottom hinge on welded at both sides now i've just got to get up on my scaffold do the same to the top hinge so let me get on with it so i'm just double checking that my hole centers are perfectly lined up exactly that far off the edge of the frame So that's my tab and I thought rather than just attach it, butt weld it from one side and then have all the weld in the way, what I did, I just cut the slot all the way through, got it perfect. Next little thing, I've just got to put these little strips around the edge for the ply, ply floor to sit on to bear on. I've just cut those. I didn't measure them. I just sat them on top and measured them like that. Very unprofessional for a show that's based on metric measurements. But they were 11.25 and 9.85, give or take a few millimetres. So 
So what I've done is I've put a rail all the way around. The ply sheets will bear on that rail. I've just got to go through now, clean all my welds, retouch any that uh, look dodgy. I've got my gate up there on the workbench. I've got to go around and touch the welds up on that too. But otherwise, everything is pretty much finished. So when I get maybe tomorrow morning real early, I'll be able to get up when it's cool and put a coat of paint on this. And then it'll be almost time to sheet, put the sheets on. And then the job will be very close to finished. just marked out four end caps they're bigger than the tube they are going to link from the plate below right up to the upright to tie all three pieces together and block the hole two in one it's nearing the end of day four all I've got to do is tidy up the welds on this gate um, I've finished everything over there plated the ends of all the open tubes um, Reground, re-welded everything. Um, if it does continue to cool down, I'll probably go over there, flap disc everything, and just give the exposed metal a little quick paint. And then I'll get up early in the morning tomorrow and paint everything. But as for day four being a success, it truly was. Gate's finished, every weld over there's finished. And I'm quite happy with the quality. January 26th, day four of the mini container project. Here we have the gate painted up. No raw steel gets left overnight. Some of this was already rusting, even though it was maybe only an hour between um, getting grinded and getting painted. So best to get it painted up straight away. Not the best coat of paint you'll ever see, but got it on quick because it was quite hot here's the main frame i just went around real quick and just just splashed some white paint on any bit of raw steel that was exposed i'll get up early in the morning tomorrow while it's while it's cool and give the all the blue a proper coat of paint and then it should be ready for sheeting <laughs> 